Welcome back to part two of the Silver Cell Anode Filters refining a series of videos. Got some nitric acid. And what I've been doing is adding small doses of nitric acid to our solids back here and just observing how it reacts. And what I want to do is I want to get to a point where it's real hot. So adding that much nitric, if there was a whole bunch of stuff in there that was going to react, it really want to take off on me. So I'm thinking I'm getting to the point where most of the nitric soluble material in here is going to be put in solution and all we'll have is our uh, platinum group metals and gold solids left in the bottom of that beaker. This has been on the heat now several hours. It's hot. I don't see any more fumes forming. I'm going to add this last little bit of nitric in. see a whole bunch of fume production in there from that so I'm gonna I'm going to conclude here that the all the material is soluble in nitric in here has been dissolved I'm gonna turn the heat off and let this cool down I've allowed this to cool and settle overnight. So now what we're gonna do is filter out the liquid and get the solids out of here. If you look down here, both of these beakers have silver that has come out of solution. And that's gonna present a problem because we've uh, precipitated out the palladium with DMG. So we'll have to deal with that. For right now, what we're gonna do is take this liquid right here I'm trying to get this silver solution off of these solids got a full vacuum on it and uh, it's coming through just drips at a time so what we're going to do now is try to transfer these solids into a one liter beaker so we can let it, let it settle out. Well, I may as well get started on this. This is the silver that has the palladium precipitated out with DMG. Apparently the DMG has also caused some of the silver to come out of solution. So I'm going to try to capture the DMG in this filter right here. It's not easy. It does not cooperate. What I should have done is filtered this stuff out uh, right away instead of letting it sit like this. Yeah, I can see there's some gray material in with the DMG precipitate, so this is going to be a nightmare. I'm going to have metallic silver and the palladium precipitate together, two solids together, the silver and the DMG precipitate in this filter. At least this solution is pulling through the filter at a decent rate. If you look over here, this has been filtering for about two hours now. It's just coming out a drip at a time. It's probably gonna take all day just to get this material filtered out of this solution. I'm quite sure that another factor 
is that I used way too much DMG because I didn't know how much to use. So there's probably an excess amount of DMG in here. All right, I'm down to the bottom of the beaker. Like silver. Yeah. Looks like we got silver in with our palladium precipitate. Take the uh, filter off of here. That's our precipitate. It looks gray because there's probably some silver in there. Set that over here out of the way. All right, here's our solution that we just filtered into this funnel. I'm going to add it to a clean beaker, set it off to the side. Now we'll put the flask, the filter back in, funnel. Vacuum on. There we go. Now we'll continue filtering this solution. Try to capture it in this filter. This is our DMG precipitate in the second beaker. Turn the vacuum off, and I'll pull our funnel, there's our filter. Now what we'll do is I'm going to add the solution to this large beaker. cement the silver out of this solution carefully. Now let me reach in here and grab this. This has got our DMG precipitate in it. Got about half of this filtered. Here's the filtered solution in this bottle. This should be silver in solution.
we've got the last of the silver solution poured into the filter. I've got all the silver solution pulled off of here now. Let's take this over to the fume hood. This is our DMG precipitate in here. Let's take it over here and put it in this I'm adding a little bit of distilled water. Now what we'll do is put a little bit of nitric acid in here. Try to dissolve the metallic silver that's in here with our precipitate. I don't know what's going to happen to the precipitate, if it's going to go back in solution or not. Cover this up. And set this back on the heat back here. Now we'll take our funnel and get it out of the way. pour this silver solution into this beaker and we'll cement the silver out of this solution. This has still got some copper in it so we'll add the rest of this solution to this beaker. Here's the DMG precipitate in here with the metallic silver. I've got it in some nitric acid. Try to pull the silver out and leave the DMG palladium precipitate intact. I've got one jar of silver cementing out here. I've got another jar cementing out here. And then of course, I've got my main solution here. This is gonna have our solids in it, our main prize, gold and platinum group metals. I mean, we just pulled a little bit of palladium out of these two solutions. But the main prize should be down here in the bottom of this. Of course, in expected normal fashion, the platinum group metals have formed an ink like solution so you can't see anything in there really maybe a little bit of solids yeah there's a level in there and then I've poured some of the solution in this filter it's been filtering for 10 hours it still has not pulled all the way through it's coming out just barely drips every minute or so. So this is gonna take quite some time 
to get the rest of this solution out of here. And I think what we'll do is we'll call it right here. This will conclude part two of the Silver Cell Anode Filters Refining series of videos. Thank you for watching.